343 just released a PC overview video and a blog that details a lot about the PC platform and how it's going to work with consoles, brand new Halo hardware you can pick up, as well as a discussion with crossplay, anti-cheat, and ray tracing. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Hey guys, welcome to the channel, the channel that keeps you up to date with everything going on in Halo. And in this video, we're going to go over everything that happened with the PC overview video, as well as the PC blog that recently just came out as well about Halo Infinite, which we actually got some brand new news about it as well. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, want to see some more content like this, make sure you tap that like button as it really does help out the video and channel get a better place within the YouTube algorithm. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, as soon as the news happens, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. With the release of the PC overview video that just went live on Halo's channel on YouTube here, it really was more kind of reiterating stuff that we already knew from the April update that we covered on this channel. Things like various settings and also like there's going to be crossplay and things like that kind of going into the game. But uh, there's some new things actually brought up within this video as well. One thing I'm huge on that, like praise, clapping hands about this one, ranked crossplay is now in Halo Infinite. Because in the previous blog update in April about PC, they said, For ranked matches, we plan to restrict competitive playlists based on input type, not console versus PC. That's because we believe the input is the biggest differentiator in gameplay ability, with things like aim assist on the controller, or the precision of aiming on mouse, you can play with your controller on PC and play ranked with your console friends, or even play mouse and keyboard on a console and play with your ranked friends on PC. This was a big issue with me previously when it came to playing PC Halo because it was so great to see that it finally came to PC on launch, which is fantastic. But originally, they planned to split up the division based on input-based matchmaking, which was, I think, a really terrible idea because you know there's going to be a situation where you have your friends who are playing on PC, one's playing with a controller, one's playing mouse and keyboard, and they wouldn't be able to play with each other. Now, that's completely changed, where now they have separate hoppers, which is what they call them, where basically you have a controller hopper, a mouse and keyboard hopper, in a crossplay hopper all for ranked, which is absolutely huge. The same kind of feature that we have right now in the MCC is now coming over to Halo Infinite. I love that change. It's gonna be such a huge quality of life improvement for the experience of playing Halo on PC or mouse and keyboard. And so I just love that. I recognize that's a huge change when it comes to competitive fairness as well, but I think it's just best when it comes to matchmaking times and also the quality of players you play against as well. Having crossplay is absolutely huge, but also dividing up the players based on their input for those people who really want a truly ultimately fair balance experience where they can't blame input devices for their failures. This is gonna be absolutely massive for the experience of playing Halo. Now, one of my concerns actually about the reveal that we had was with our brief, very vague Big discussion about anti-cheat, which they mentioned here. We made a commitment early on that we don't want to have any complex DRM or anything that's going to inhibit a player's ability to play the way they want to play. And we want to respect players' privacy, especially legitimate players' privacy, right? You know, we're going to continue to evolve it into whatever is necessary and uh, whatever our players need to have a fair experience. So that was like very quick, very vague about the whole experience. Uh, Anti-cheat is gonna be very important, especially with Halo Infinite's multiplayer being free to play. We've seen this issue just completely blow up in the Call of Duty community. Where in Warzone, you're infested with hackers in there. Like I'm a very casual player when it comes to playing Warzone. I usually pretty much, pretty much play with my friends. But when you get down to like the last like 20 people, you almost always come across a hacker. That's why with Call of Duty Vanguard, they're ranking a new anti-cheat called Ricochet, which is supposed to go down to a kernel level anti-cheat that goes into your hardware to kind of make sure that they know exactly who you are. So if you get caught cheating, you can actually be banned rather than just like your account being banned and making a new account. Valorant does a very similar system as well, but it sounds like Halo will not be doing that. So they will respect players' privacy when it comes to handed cheat at first, but I think they're gonna try to keep an eye on the whole situation because obviously with free to play, there's gonna be hackers. Like PC, free to play, 
hackers pretty much synonymous. You've seen hackers already within the MCC and that's a paid game. Though it's a never ending arms race when it comes to cheaters and, and any system that gets created by a person, there's a person who can find a way to get around it. They finally mentioned ray tracing within Halo Infinite, which is the first time they've mentioned it since like 2020. And they talk about it looking like ray tracing is not going to be a day one feature, saying that it's one of their top development priorities post launch. No word if there's a difference between console ray tracing that we have for the Series X console console. My assumption is that there is going to be no ray tracing at all at the launch of Halo Infinite, but I think once ray, ray, ray tracing comes in for PC, it'll also come in with console or vice versa. Though it's a shame it's not going to be there since ray tracing is a brand new feature for the Series X. I know they want to flex that power of the Xbox Series X and also on PC, but it looks like we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for ray tracing, which so far my graphics card's like fine i can handle it because i'm running a 1080 ti and most people aren't able to get the 30 series nvidia cards and the 20 series cards are just really expensive so at launch i'm okay with no ray tracing talking about graphics cards we have a new gpu announced at this halo infinite themed looking like straight up master chief graphics card it's an amd radeon 6900 xt now normally i'm an nvidia guy i've always ran nvidia cards but this is very tempting for me to jump Jump ship over to the AMD side of things. Now, if you guys remember, there's actually a Razer and Halo Infinite partnership going on right now where they have like a bunch of Halo Infinite themed content you can pick up when it comes to your hardware and stuff like that. Even comes with some coatings you can pick up on top of it, which is super cool. But they also mentioned how Halo Infinite is going to be like integrated with Razer Chroma, where basically as you're playing in game, you'll see lighting features and sounds apparently happening along with your Razer hardware integrating along with the game as well for just like a little bit of fun immersion kind of experience so that's super cool Now the really great thing here, they talk about optimization within this blog update as well as it's gonna be a continuous thing with Halo Infinite. It's not gonna be day one, that's it. You're gonna be seeing continuous updates and improvements when it comes to optimization. Stating here saying, looking ahead, we've identified opportunities for additional configuration options, performance tweaks, and memory improvements across both PC as well as console. And we're working together on more optimization solutions that should benefit all platforms. This is one of those great things where being a live service game and the way they've modeled Halo Infinite is it can allow for awesome things like this, better improvements over time to help improve your performance. And so that when you're playing Halo, you can play it much more smoothly, which is fantastic. So if you guys are new to the channel and missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. Got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about on this, vid on this channel. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.